Uh, schools and school systems, colleges, universities are of this world. They aren't separate from this world. So all of those forces, those political, those economic, those social, those technological, those demographic, environmental forces that impact the whole of society have implications for our schools. We need to be connected to all of those forces in society because we are the ones who produce the people who will inherit our future. They are the ones who will need to lead us in the future. If you want to see the future, take a look at the students in your own classroom and you will see the people who will be the leaders in 2074. So the future is already here. It's really very important for us to stay connected to trends and issues. In fact, if we understand trends and issues, it's very likely that people will say we're in touch. If we don't understand trends and issues, it's very likely that people will say we're out of touch. Now here's what we try to do. We try to explain these trends. We've done a lot of research on all 21 and even more. But then we try to engage people in discussions about those trends. One, we ask them, what are the implications of these trends for how we operate our schools, our school systems? How, what are the implications of these trends for, uh, for what our students need to know and be able to do, their academic knowledge, their skills, their behaviors, their attitudes? Uh, we ask people, uh, what are the implications of these trends for economic growth and development, quality of life in our communities? We need to have people thinking about the future because the future is in school today. So those are some of the reasons that we speak with a lot of educators and work with a lot of educators and speak with a lot of educators about these forces that impact virtually everyone. The future, to some extent, is the elephant in the room. It's so big that we don't see it.